Let's take a look at this interesting architectural feature here. When I switch on my mathematical eyes, I can see a number pattern hidden in the design of the archway. So we've got one space at the top, that's one. Then if we lower our eyes, we've got one space at the top, then two spaces in the row below, making a total of three in a triangular pattern. We've got one space in the top row, then two spaces in the next row, then three spaces in the final row, forming a bigger triangular pattern, making a total of six. What I'd like you to do is to find the next three triangular numbers in this pattern. There's more hidden maths in that triangular pattern. Let me illustrate what I mean. What we've got is we've got 1 plus 2 equals 3. Now, I know you're saying that's obvious, but let's, let's continue this pattern. So after 3, we get 4 and 5 and then 6. Now, the curious thing is that if we add 4, 5 and 6 together, we get 7 and 8. So let's continue that pattern for another line. So what I'm going to do now, starting with the 9, because it follows 8, so I'll go 9, 10, 11, 12. Notice that I've added an extra number here. So each time, in the first case I've got two numbers, next case I've got three numbers, and in this case I've got four numbers. So that's equal to, so it's 12, so it's then 13, 14, and 15. What I'd like you to do for me is first to check. Check to make sure that I've got these sums right, that these three numbers are the same as these two, and that these four numbers are the same as these three. And then I'd like you to do the next two lines of this pattern. Continuing the number pattern from before, if I take the three here, that total, I could write that three as one plus one squared plus one cubed. Now you might think, well, there's not too much in that. But let's have a look, see what happens in the next line. In the next line, I've got a total of 15. So let me write my 15 and break that total up. So that total of 15 is actually 1 plus 2 plus 2 squared plus 2 cubed. I think you're starting to see now that this is a very interesting pattern. And some of these numbers here that we've been looking at in this pattern are actually linked with patterns that we've looked at earlier. What I'd like you to do is to continue this and look at the totals you've got and see if you can extend this pattern. What you might like to think about while you're trying to extend that pattern is something we did earlier, these special triangular numbers. If you were an architect, what do you think is some of the key mathematics that you would use? Compass points and bearings. You also need to think about symmetry and the use of ratio and proportion. See if you can design your own cathedral. <laughs>